what is up YouTube welcome back to another video and in today's video we're finally building a new PC bro after so long like of just waiting for like just waiting for a good performing PC that can handle pretty much anything with great enough frames that can kind of hold the 144 hertz monitor that I have 144 FPS and stuff like that you know it's finally time I've been saving I've been grinding and now you know I'm able to finally be blessed with a new PC and now uh, we have all the parts here I've been harboring and purchasing them over time and you now I've been waiting for um, a good time to actually build it and now today is the day where we can actually do that so yeah uh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna record this format this video or edit it in any, any way shape or form but I do want to show you guys the process of me actually building my first gaming PC this is the first time I'm building it for myself I have built a PC before but I've done it for my boy Grails so yeah, today's the day we're building your boy Kutai, his own personal uh, gaming rig, and I can pretty much handle anything. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the parts throughout the video, but before the video starts, don't forget to like and subscribe, as it is the best way for you guys to support me in each and every video. But yeah, let me just show you guys the parts now. Mind my setup, obviously. Oh, and my bed. Uh, I'm chaining up the setup around in my room. But So first, we got the Ryzen 5 7600X. You already know. Um, so obviously the best CPU uh, around this time is the 7800X3D or the 9800X3D but I did not have $400 to spend on just one CPU at least for right now so I got something that's pretty much S tier, F tier, um, F tier, my bad, A tier, S tier, um, it has pretty much good gigahertz and yeah 5.3 gigahertz max boost 4.7 gigahertz base and 6 cores 12 thread processor so this is going to be a beast and yeah let's move on to the next part all right so we got some extra fans because the case does not have fans included with it so we got the Antec um triple 144 millimeters or 360s um i don't remember exactly but I'm, i think i got the biggest size possible okay never mind 140 uh, millimeters uh so yeah i got three fans and yeah we're gonna attach this to the case and also guys i i do know how to build a pc but this is actually my first time actually applying the knowledge that i've learned so hopefully this goes well uh this might take a minute but we got it next part we got is the we got the w black uh ssd uh two terabytes gen 4 and it goes up to 7300 megabytes per second uh, i'm pretty sure the recommended is 6000 so yeah, we got two terabytes of this, so this is gonna be amazing. We won't have to worry about storage or anything like that. And plus, I should have an extra SSD to put into the motherboard. Okay, we also got an extra screwdriver to make the process easier, so I'll make sure to unbox this. All right, so now we got um, the T TC Create uh, 32 gigabytes of 6,000 megahertz of RAM. So yeah, this is gonna be good for you know effective multitasking and stuff like that. We, get, we even got the One Piece mention, like, come on, guys. One Piece cling design, Bruh. you already know, bro. But, yeah, this is going to be good. This should be able to handle. Uh, I'm pretty sure right now the standard is rising to 32 gigabytes, but let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. And we should also have AMD, uh, XMP, and Expo, all that stuff. I just got extra thermal paste. Uh, I'm probably going to put, like, a piece size amount, but, yeah, I just got some extra. And finally, the number one, well, one of the most important parts, we got the B60 uh, M? Okay, just the B60 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi motherboard has Wi-Fi included, can handle, uh, obviously supports the CPU, the Ryzen 5 7600X, and yeah, this should be able to handle pretty much everything that I throw at it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this has some future upgradability, so it's future-proof, and yeah, I, I made sure about that, and yeah, this is going to be the first part we're going to unbox because we're going to obviously have to put everything onto the motherboard, so yeah, I'm going to leave this on the desk here. Second, we got the... C750 gold watt uh, NZXT power supply. Um, based off the name, I'm pretty sure this was 750 watts. Uh, might be wrong, not sure. But yeah, we did get a modular ATX PSU. This should be good enough to handle all the parts and power everything pretty much well. Um, let me see how many watts. I believe as the name implies, oh, if my camera can focus. I believe as the name implies it's 750 watts, uh, that should be good enough, hopefully. I hope so. I had to remove the address there, obviously I can't let y'all know where I live, but like, come on, I don't want you guys looking through my window and stuff, but yeah, we got the NZXT Kraken 360. I always want this LCD screen, this was always so fascinating, I can put GIFs and stuff like that, I thought that was always so cool. 
second but not least one of the most important parts of the build we got the gpu the amd radeon rx 7900 gre this is one of the best value to performance cards out there and i got it by xfx um recently uh if you guys have been an og of the channel i've i've always said like i always wanted an nvidia card but I don't know, the market right now, AMD has just has the best value to performance. So I'm ready to use this beast right here. Um, this should be able to handle anything. We also got um, higher than the recommended VRAM of 16 gigabytes. I'm pretty sure the, actually I think this is the recommended. So yeah, we got that and yeah. So now let's just start. Oh wait, I forgot to show you guys the case, but we got the Antic C8 Full Tower case here by the Constellation series from Antic. Um, I will show you guys once I actually put everything um, on the motherboard step by step. I will show you guys the case when I get to that point. But right now I'm not going to open it just yet. So yeah, let's just unbox the motherboard and get to it. So I'm looking at this motherboard right now and I, I realize I really have to lock in. So I'ma just I'ma just do it. I'ma just build it and I'ma record and you guys will see the process. So yeah. This is actually pretty exciting, bro. But yeah, let's get it. So we're gonna finally be opening the CPU cooler. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure this is the next thing. So yeah, let's just open this up real quick.
I am back guys so I have taken at least three to four hours putting the AI cooler and the fans on the PC just because I wanted to make sure that I was getting optimal cooling and just make sure everything was good and that um, I had the proper orientation on everything make sure everything was fit so uh, yeah I, so I'm using this like uh, like this I don't know how common this is. I don't think it's that common compared to having the fans on the other side. But with like tons of research that I did real quick, um, I just came up with this um, like configuration with the fans uh, ta taking in air and blowing uh, air inside and then having the air exhaust through here. Uh, we'll see how it works. We'll look at the temperatures uh, when we boot up the PC and over time we'll see if we need to change it. But uh, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully this works. Uh, I was gonna switch on the other side, but I wanted to see if this would be better because I know for some cases it was like the research and stuff like that. So yeah, that took a minute to do. I'm not gonna lie, it was very frustrating, but we finally did it. So now um, I got the IO shield. So we're gonna put this on the back here real quick, and then I think we're gonna move on to the P uh, PSU. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I've got to be like the biggest idiot ever. Okay, so I need to take out the motherboard and then put the IO shield in. So guys, when you're building your PC, make sure to put this in, the AI shield that comes with your motherboard before you like screw the motherboard in. <sighs> oh my gosh, bro, I'm trolling, man, I'm trolling. Alrighty, so we've got the IO shield and the motherboard back installed now. So yeah, uh, that's good to know. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that or I don't remember to do that, but yeah, so we got that in there. Now, I think now we just gotta bring on the PSU. Actually, before I do that, I think I'm gonna just clean up a little bit just because it's a literal war zone in here. So yeah, let me do that real quick. Alrighty, so we got the PC onto the desk now. So we're gonna uh, put probably the graphics card or the power supply in. Um, I'm not sure what, which, what I'm gonna do next, but uh, I will, I'll probably put the GPU in, but yeah. But look at this beauty though, look at this. All the panels are off. I'm gonna obviously work on a cable management a little bit. Uh, I rerouted some of them to the back as best as I could. But yeah, we're gonna work on that a little bit. And yeah, but yeah, let's continue. All right, so I just opened the, N, uh, the NZXT power supply box. And yeah, so this is what it looks like inside. We got, got a card for, I think, the manual. I'm gonna put that to the side. And we also got this nice like bag, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, I think the power supply's in there? No, it's not. Okay, we got some foam, put that to the side. Oh my god. All right, so yeah, I dropped the panels, but uh, they're okay. We're good, we're good. But okay, so this is the power supply. Honestly, this is like great packaging that they got going on here. I'm also holding <laughs> I'm holding my phone on a tripod, bro. This is not real, bro. I'm gonna just let me let me open it for you guys. Yeah, there's like a bunch of cables in here. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is install this into the PC, obviously. Uh, get all this routed up, and I'll see you guys when I'm done because I cannot record and do this at the same time. This is the challenge. I am not gonna lie. All right, see you guys then. Alright, so I got all the cables that I believe I'm going to need for the build. So we're now going to put it into the PC here in the back. Um, somewhere back here, or I think it goes up here somewhere maybe. I'll look at the manual, but yeah, let's let's do that. Alrighty, so yes, it, it does look like a mess. I will organize it, but I pretty much have everything connected from the CPU to the pump on the AIO cooler and the... The CPU also provided power to there too. So now we just have to make sure uh, to put the, now we're gonna put the GPU in then. next, bro. Why does, bro? So all the holes were not visible for the power supply. So I put two screws in that were visible and I, and it looks tight enough, I'm not sure, but, um, Let's hope it doesn't fall, but it feels very secure. Like, promise me. Like, I, I wouldn't just like plug all this stuff in, but I don't know. I wish I could use all all the holes. 
pause. You know what I mean? We're gonna plug the GPU in. Best save for last. And yeah, after that, I'll manage the cables and all that. But yeah, let's 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 do it. So it's finally time. Uh, I managed a little bit of the cables as much as I can, but now it's time to install the GPU, the 7900G RE. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's just open this up. So uh, I took the tag off a little to make this easier because I am using one hand to do this. Yeah. Okay, let's pull it out the box. Sir. All right, now it's time for the reveal. Oh, what's behind this phone? It's everything. It's the GPU, the GOAT of this PC. Yes, sir. That's all I'm talking about. Triple fans, AMD Radeon. Bro, I'm not even an AMD fan like that. I got converted, bro. Bruh. Look at this. All right, we're gonna put this into the PC now. Okay, as much as I do wanna show you guys putting me, wait, what, bro, I'm frozen, bro, bro. As much as I wanna show you guys me putting the GPU into the PCIe slot, uh, right there, that silver, uh, right below the MSI logo, I just can't with one hand. So, and I, wait, hold on, let me try this. All right, that should work. I don't know, I have some crazy contraption right now, but let's do this. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I don't know what you guys can see. Look at that, bro. Sir. Uh, let me just show you guys all around it. Okay, but what? Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish up the cable management real quick. And then we obviously, before I put the panels back on, we gotta test out um, the actual PC, make sure everything's working. So let me do that. I'm gonna disconnect the old PC and everything, and yeah, let's do it. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we finally, finally got it on. No problems. Uh, at first, when I turned on the button, it like there was like lights on the motherboard, but that's just it going through everything and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. Um, maybe I should. Okay, I'm gonna test it out with the monitor first, and then after that, cable management. But yeah, let me do that real quick. Okay, moment of truth. Have everything connected. Make sure everything's connected. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out uh, why the monitor is not turning on. So I will come back to you guys once I figure it out. And now there's a green light. But yeah, I will come back to you guys when I'm done. Three hours later. Oh my gosh, guys, it has been, I don't know, an hour, two hours, three hours of trying to figure out why that white light was on, bro. I've been troubleshooting and I finally got the solution. As you guys can see, the GPU is not here anymore. I put it here. For some reason, for MSI um, motherboard, like the BIOS that's already in, like pre-installed onto the motherboard, it's not like aligned with like the two slots. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what other slots is not updated, but uh, I, I finally, I, put, I connected the GPU into the other PCIe slot down here and managed to get all the way to the bios now which is a good thing that's where i'm supposed to be at this point and now i'm gonna update the bios real quick 
and we should be good to go. I'm gonna put the GPU back and we'll test that out when I'm done. All right guys, so I'm back. So I pretty much downloaded the BIOS. I'm using uh, one of my uh, siblings laptops here to get the BIOS instead of making it harder on myself to, you know, go, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm using another computer pretty much and um, I'm pretty much gonna, I'm using a method to deploy Windows and I'm also going to uh, get the BIOS updates, like I said, and I'm gonna just put that all in one drive. And when I'm done, I'll put the graphics cards where, I'll fix up the computer where it's like where all the parts are supposed to be. And yeah, after that, I will, it'll pretty much be done and we can start with drivers and stuff like that. So next time you guys will see me, I will probably be on the desktop recording the screen and showing you guys the drivers and all that stuff and yeah uh see you guys then or actually hold on i don't even know yeah i might i might i don't know if i'll show like the drivers and stuff because i don't unless you guys really we'll see we'll see but i i'm not sure if i'll include it in the video but i might screen record like the drivers process all of that installing all the new features and stuff like that but i will show you guys the end result with the pc fully built with the panels on and yeah uh, my phone was overheating that's why i'm rushing a little bit with the video but yeah uh, i'll see you guys then and yeah all right guys i finally did it bro i finally did it man oh my god took so long all right um so i finally got the deep loaded windows 11 my like my own personal settings of what i want on windows onto the disc i will install it um not now i'll probably do that tomorrow um but i did get the bios updated everything is set in motion i'll peel that off for you guys look at that that's so clean bro so yeah, the build is pretty much complete. I'm gonna put the panels up and now I'm gonna show you guys as well. But yeah, everything is working now. Everything is showing up. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull up to the BIOS to show you guys real quick. All right, there you go. So it recognizes, you know, the CPU, which is good. Recognizes the RAM and everything, the gigahertz, everything should, it's good. Um, it recognize, uh, I think it, well, it wouldn't be showing up if the graphics card was not working, right? But yeah, we got everything done. Um, obviously there's stuff I gotta do in BIOS like the speed, I gotta change that to the maximum speed that we actually bought the RAM for. It's not 4800, it should be like 6000 something around there. But yeah, so we pretty much did it. Uh, I also ma managed the cables as well. So yeah. Uh, well, it's not the best, but for now it'll work for sure. It's looking like, looking like a tornado. <laughs> but. Yeah, so we pretty much got everything we needed to do done for the piece of build. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna screen record me downloading the drivers and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, this video might be a little mess. I don't know how, how I'm gonna edit it, but yeah, uh, it was a messy build. It took a while, it took two days to do, which it shouldn't have, but all of, the most important thing is that everything's working and. We got everything to boot up and that's the most important thing but hey guys we finally got a new pc we finally built it and you know this means it's a new new time a new i guess era of like crazy content i don't have to worry about fps no more like i've been worrying about for the past who knows how long guys but the real ones know the struggles of the fps bro but i never let that stop me from uploading even though my upload schedule was a little long i'm not gonna lie it took me a while to upload i i'd I be i'd be taking month breaks i'm not gonna lie but yeah we finally did it but let me put on the panels and show you guys the final piece or like how it looks in general
We did it, man. We did it, guys. That's all thanks to you guys, bro. We got support since day one, bro. Look at this, man. All right, I'm going to turn it on for you guys. Yes, sir. Okay, so I, I got, like, no RGB. I'm not going to lie, but still, look at this. This is clean. I'll probably add, like, RGB stuff in the future, but for now, I like this sleek, simple design. And we got the NZXT cooler. It's all black, bro. This is clean, bro. But yeah. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. And, yeah. This is crazy. Um, so, I'm going to... Obviously, after this, I'm going to do all the software stuff. So, drivers... My, my stuff from my old PC, I got to transfer stuff, but thank you guys, bro. This is this is crazy. My first PC that I built for myself personally. I built a PC for my uh, my bro, but this is for myself, bro. This is actually like crazy. It should have not taken two days, though. I'm not going to lie, but it's all good. But thank you guys so much. Anyways, guys, I wish you guys a blessed day. And if you guys want something, you guys got to go for it. Go work for it. And just believe because one day you will have it i've been wanting a pc like this for myself since i was like 13. something that can handle like everything everything i throw at it and this should be able to do it a 7900 gre and a 7600 x you guys got it bro you guys got it man believe in yourselves for real anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed the pc build i'm gonna have to do some crazy like editing magic I'm also probably gonna have some other editors edit this, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to make it as entertaining and as cool as possible. But thank you guys so much for sticking all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yes, sir. And if you guys do want like anything else related to the PC, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, it's been your boy Kluthai. I'm out, bye.